first post COVID-19 haircut. Oh, feels lighter, refreshing. So nice. Cleaning up. <laughs> okay, bust a myth number three. BC Schizophrenia Society is running a campaign right now called Bust a Myth. You can use the hashtags Schizophrenia Facts, Bust a Myth BC, or Smash Stigma. We're trying to reduce the stigma that schizophrenics face because of myths that are prevalent and shared by people that don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> So, there's a prevalent myth that schizophrenics are dangerous. It is common enough for people to say, that psycho was following me or looking at me or gesturing at me. And now, I will not excuse misogyny, racism, ableism, those sorts of things. Those sorts of things are about disrespect and those people that scare people and do violence are in need of education. But there's an unfortunate linguistic overlap. There is psychopath and there is psychotic. Pathos or pathological means disturbed, aberrant, violent, those sorts of things. Pathos means suffering and pain causing, pain causing. That's an important part of what pathos and psychopathic means. A psychopath is a serial killer or someone who chronically doesn't care and abuses others or abuses lots of things, animals, plants, anything, property, anything. But psychotic, psychosis, that's what happens to schizophrenics. What does psychotic sound like or psychosis? Psycho just means mind. Psychological, psychology, mental, mind. What's wrong with a mind? This is actually one of the bigger myths because when schizophrenics are at their most distressed, they're far more statistically likely to harm themselves than any other person. Most psychopaths don't even have symptoms of psychosis. They don't see things that aren't there. They don't hear things that aren't there. They don't have preoccupations other than murder and violence. They may be alarmed and alarming, but hardly violent. They might sound angry because a lot of the stress in the mind and the delusions and the frustrations get vented, but actually acting on violence is very rare with most schizophrenics. And that's a fact. Thanks for tuning in. That just sounds like inflammation of the mind.